Boiler or steam generator is a huge metallic structure where steam is generated at high temperature and pressure. For this, powdered coal is burnt inside the furnace which produces heat. The heat generated helps in boiling water and producing steam which is superheated in different stages. The superheated steam catches high speed due to aerofoil shape of the turbine blades and causes rotation of the turbine shaft. This rotation causes rotation of generator shaft coupled with it. As a result of this rotation, Rotor assembly mounted on generator shaft starts rotating inside the stator, which generates electricity. The simplified version of the process flow diagram can be seen here. Energy transformation during these processes can be understood as chemical energy of coal converts into heat or thermal energy, which is carried by steam and gets converted into kinetic energy in turbine. Kinetic energy of steam gets converted into rotational or mechanical energy in turbine and passes this energy to generator shaft. Finally, generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. The energy transformation that takes place in this process is represented in the block diagram here. In part 1, we have seen how coal is handled, prepared and pulverized to feed in furnace of the boiler. Now, we have come up with part 2, which is about the boiler. This huge structure is known as boiler. It comprises of several tubular structures of different kinds. In this video, we will discuss different types of tubes, boiler mountings and accessories, their roles and their functions. Boiler is mainly divided into three zones depending upon the type of heat transfer that's taking place. First is the radiation zone, where heat is transferred through thermal emission. So this zone around furnace where coal is burned. Second is the convection zone, where heat is transferred by the movement of hot flue gases. So this area comes under convection zone. The third zone is combination of the two, that is radiation plus convection, and therefore comes between the two. Parts of the boiler can be broadly classified into two types, say, mountings and accessories. Boiler mountings are components used for ensuring safety of the boiler operation. These are generally mounted on the surface of the boiler like a safety valve, fusible plug, water level indicator, feed check valve, a pressure gauge, stop valve or blow off cock. Boiler accessories are the devices required for proper operation and improved efficiency of the boiler. These are integral part of the boiler and not mounted on it. Some of the examples are superheaters, reheaters, economizer, air preheater, etc. So we can say a boiler comprises of a furnace, boiler drum, water walls, downcomers, risers, mountings, and accessories. Now we will discuss all the parts one by one. 
First is the furnace. It is equipped with coal burners at all four corners, repeating at three or four levels. This arrangement is known as tangential firing. It is the most effective method for producing intense turbulence and thorough mixing of fuel injected. Powdered coal from the mill is discharged from the nozzle of the burners and combustion air is then projected from wind box adjacent to the burners. The streams of pulverized coal and air are projected tangentially to a small circle. It produces intense fireball which spreads out and fills the entire furnace area. The advantages of tangential firing are first rapid and thorough mixing. Second, it provides complete combustion. Third, uniform heat distribution. Fourth, reduces carbon loss. Next is boiler drum. Boiler drums are high pressure cylindrical vessel and are found in subcritical boilers. In such boilers, operating pressure remains lower than critical pressure. When water gets heated up under subcritical conditions, it converts into steam plus water mix. This steam water mix is sent to boiler drum. The drum acts as a reservoir and also separates steam and water. The process of separation is executed with the help of drum internals like baffle plates, cyclone separators, scrubber, dryer, etc. It ensures that only steam goes to superheaters for further heating and separated water goes to the distribution header through downcomers and gets heated up and repeats the cycle. Water quality is maintained in boiler drum by different blowdown techniques in which dissolved solids are removed from water. Chemical dosing in drum is done to eliminate chances of scale formation and to maintain the pH level of boiler water. In summary, we can say, the boiler drum works as a reservoir for steam and water mixture. Secondly, it separates steam and water. Third, it provides necessary heat for circulation of feed water. Fourthly, chemical dosing is done to maintain pH of water. And lastly, blow down to eliminate dissolved solids.
Since this video is getting long, we will cover various tubes, mounting and accessories in the next video. Stay tuned.